Okay, well, this is a cassette tape that I recorded at uh, Western Washington University in uh, the spring of 1983. I took a class up there, amongst other classes, called Social Problems. The professor was, uh, was a doctor named Dr. Call. I don't know or remember his first name. He was really upset with the corporate rich, and, um, and he was a pretty interesting individual. He predicted the Gulf War uh, in 83, and uh, very interesting individual. Everything was the, the fault of the corporate rich. But here's a couple minutes that I recorded of him. Tail end of a song here, off the radio. The Who face dances at FM 100 KI. Blaming the victim and all that. It is sometimes easy to, uh, to assume too readily um, that the world is coming apart, that there is no hope, <clears throat> that everything that has happened uh, has been bad and it's going to get worse. Now, frankly, I think it probably is, but some other things happen too. <clears throat> um, but I also want to relate. Americans have this peculiar insular vision of the world that so long as it seems to be happening to a bunch of funny, uh, froggy-bodied little people somewhere else uh, that it doesn't affect us or we're not concerned with it or it's really too bad so we'll send five dollars a month to keep a, uh, a baby alive somewhere and then uh, we'll say that's good, uh, that buys off our conscience. <clears throat> but we really don't have to worry too much. Uh, what do we care for them? So these uh, end up starving. Uh, it's probably their own fault anyway. But those things are related, uh, and I want to get back not to try to draw any perfect pictures, but to uh, point out that the same laws of population growth and decline, the same laws of nutrition, if you will, the same laws of disease and death <clears throat> apply to all humans. And the same resources that we utilize now uh, are increasingly in demand uh, by those who have not uh, heretofore been in a position to utilize them, and we're going to have to fight with them about it one way or the other. Okay? <clears throat> so all those things uh, are going to happen. Some other ways, however, since I've been talking about rates uh, and, I'd say, the laws of population, although that's putting it a little strongly, since what happens is that we observe phenomena and then measure them in a particular way. Um, but when it was, and something as abstract as population pyramids, and there's birth rates and death rates and average rates of increase <clears throat> um, on an annual percentage basis and all of that, uh, those things have uh, some very real meanings in a way. When we were talking about how populations grow uh, by reducing the death rates, in general, so long as you're just calculating a death rate, deaths per thousand population, um, and then subtracting that from births per thousand population uh, to get a nice figure. How that occurs is something else, and uh, sometimes these uh, figures are uh, very interesting. Let me give you some, for the U.S., keep in mind that the U.S. for a long time was the model, uh, or it stood for, you might say, industrialized society. We, we knew more about our own data and similar data from Europe and the like. And prior to uh, about 1950 or so, uh, prior to the, the active involvement of the UN and uh, the UN Health Organization, World Health Organization, we had very few uh, population data from most of the rest of the world. Uh, so we, we talked, even if we wanted to talk about other areas of the world, then North, but North America and Western Europe were about the only places we had any information on. So, in the U.S., assuming that, according to the old model, Well, there it is. Probably just boring as hell to most of you, but uh, I don't think that uh, probably anybody else anywhere has a speech from Dr. Call of Western Washington University from the early 80s anywhere. There it is.